Well, we're back from the spin. As you'll see, the Mumbles man really blew our dresses up today. You'll have to see the video to see it. Unbelievable. Me and Timmy had the Mumbles, major Mumbles. Anyway, I got a call to pick up some lawnmower blades from a guy. He said these are used on four yards. He's got one of them riding lawnmowers that turns at 180 degrees in a second. I forget what you call it. These have cut more than four. This was on top of that one outside in the rain. And then the floor shop called said they needed a stem cutter sharpened, which I already knew because I talked to them, I don't know, Monday or Tuesday. Stem cutter. Okay. There's the stem cutter. They had two set up today. Usually they only have one. They must be busy. He said, yeah, we need it back pretty quick. Especially before Sunday. Anyway, I'll get it sharpened tomorrow. Sometime. I don't know what they've been cutting with it, but... And maybe I'm making it too sharp and the edge gets some chips in it. I won't make it quite as sharp this time. It's got little chips along the blade there. Looks like a shun or a global. Speaking of shuns, no, speaking of globals, the lady of the house is uh, bringing some home. One of my customers that lives out where she works is dropping some, uh, has already dropped some globals off and some cut goes and she said some color knives, you know, the ones that are like orange and green and red. I don't know what they look like or what kind they are, but I noticed two or three globals and two or three cut goes and some of those colored knives. I'll see them tonight. I'll probably sharpen them tomorrow with these. These I'll sharpen maybe tomorrow, I don't know. I suppose it rains Friday, which is tomorrow, so it may be a good day to work on them. My garage is a hoorah's nest, it looks like. We're having some wood replaced around the doors. Actually having the whole frame replaced on the garage side door. I mean, yeah, which we don't ever use. But it'll be finished tomorrow when I can move all this stuff back in. So the lady of the house won't be able to get a car in here tonight. Okay, I gotta go inside. I'll check with you in a little while. I gotta work on the mumbles post. Well, I got the knives from the lady last night. I will say one thing. They might be the dullest knives I ever try to sharpen. I don't know what the age of these knives are. Or how she use them, but they're plenty dull. <laughs> I mean, I don't. I've never seen anything like it. The globals don't have any microchips in them whatsoever, which is kind of unusual for globals. But they're just dull. Maybe that's what happened. They ground all the microchips off. <laughs> Unbelievable. Anyway, I got something to do besides the stem cutter and the lawnmower blades. I'll get back to you after I hunt for some yellow today. See you later. Well, I'm headed to the Saturday morning knife gig. In the rain we got 
we did not get yesterday is uh, trying to show up right now. You might be able to see it on my windshield. I don't know. Stand by. Man, it's coming down now. I got to stop and cover my stuff up. I brought a tarp just in case, but I certainly hadn't planned on using it. I got to pull in this gas station right here. Get under his overhang. Stand by. A rainy Saturday. Hey. Hi, how are you? Okay. I see you over there. There's a, there's a guy with a cocaine. Monino's sauce marinara. Low Tide Tim wants two. I think the Mumbles Man wants one. I want one. Wow. Well, I got one customer anyway. I got a cog, pre con, sog, I mean cold steel, and an Air Force survival knife. sidewalk fixed up here soon. <laughs> well, finally, a little business. I got a family of Wustoffs. Seven of them. And a bench made pocket knife. She says her husband's bringing the pocket knife over in a minute. Okay. And there comes the bench made.